so hello everyone welcome back to the channel and uh, today i'll be telling you about how to handle your opds being a first year uh, nobody will tell you how to handle the opds how to see the patient how to apply the cast and how to do the dressings and how to manage the ward patient as well simultaneously doing the handling the patient in the opd simultaneously following the senior's advice simultaneously following the hod's advice simultaneously keeping up all things together how you have to manage how will you handle and what are the tips and tricks to manage things in the opd and same okay so please stay tuned and do follow also why so in my case my senior told me how to take a history he told me just first of all you have to write down your name that is like seen by dr chandan narang and the designation whether he is a r1 r2 or r3 and the second thing simultaneously write the date okay these are the two things now you have to take the history how you how you should go for it chief complaint then any history of trauma now this sentence is very much important to you if there is any history of trauma then so if there is any history of trauma then you have to uh, inform your senior because it is a mlc case and it is the responsibility of the second year <coughs> to take the uh, medical history of uh, mlc patient or any patient with the history of trauma it's not your duty to take the history so mlc case any history of trauma you have to inform your senior and stay out of it so you are done with the chief complaint part and suppose there is no history of trauma now in the examination part there are five things you have to mention swelling tenderness bony cavities deformity and the range of motion and the last thing is the dnvd the distal neurovascular deficit that's the most important thing in case of orthopedics and i'll tell you why deficit what does that it mean it means if you have any trauma in the thigh then there could be a femur fracture there could be any swelling over the thigh so there could be any vascular compromise then you have to check the peripheral pulsation like dorsalis pedis and the posterior tibialis and check for the distal sensation as well so that is the case uh, uh, that is uh, like uh, in ev- each and every case in orthopedics you have to mention never forget about this dnvd okay otherwise you will be haunted by your seniors uh, because of that dnvd okay don't forget in any case don't forget about that dnvd and now the mistake i did though my senior told me still i did it and uh, that was yeah, uh, in one case i didn't mention my name that uh, i have seen this patient okay it was my writing over there this patient was having this simple shaft tibia fracture which was undisplaced i was just a first year it was just uh, like uh, I, uh, just one month passed and there was a se- senior resident he just told me he advised me uh, just to put a slab and discharge the patient we usually don't discharge the any fracture patient okay tibia fracture uh, displaced undisplaced we used to fix it okay now what happened some uh, misfortunate thing happened to that patient and what happened after one and a half month that discharge that uh, opd paper came into uh, the hands of my hod okay something happened to that patient and it was like it was like that ke, uh, though i wrote all the important aspect and i have informed that senior also okay and though that senior was taking the responsibility okay, that he advised me uh, to apply the uh, apply the slab in that case with the tibial fracture case but nobody was listening and literally i was punished for that okay i was called and i was being punished i was i was i was punished for that so but that was in another experience after that i never forget to write i never forgot to write my name and after that the senior and to whom you have shown the patient you have consulted about the patient okay this is this is the finding these are the finding now what should i do now please write the name of the senior the consultant everyone back to back like if you have shown, if you have shown your patient to the r2 then write his name to the r3 write his name also and the ap write his name also because these are the medical legal cases and if uh, if you remove the uh, like college part then you will be even you will be asked for the 
लाइक मेडिकल लीगल केसेस इवन यू यू विल बी कॉल्ड इन द कोर्ट समन्स विल कम सो दी आर थिंग्स एंड दैट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द इंस्टीट्यूशन टू इंस्टीट्यूशन के हु हैंडल्स द एम एल सी इज द रेजिडेंट और इट इज़ द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर और असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर हु हैंडल्स द केसेज ऑफ एम एल सी दैट डिपेंड्स ओके सो मे बी डिफरेंट इन केस ऑफ योर सीनारियो बट इन आर सीनारियो द ए पी यूज टू गो फॉर द दिज एम एल सी केसेज एंड दे यूज टू चेक दोज केस यू विल बी डूइंग द ड्रेसिंग एज वेल सो टेक हेल्प ऑफ योर इंटर्नस वाइल डूइंग द ड्रेसिंग ओके इन द ड्रेसिंग पार्ट नाउ वट यू विल गेट टू डू ओके अलॉन्ग विद ड्रेसिंग एस्पिरेशन of the joints in the, the most common is the knee joint aspiration now in case of knee joint aspiration don't forget to send their culture sensitivity and uh, gram stain jaden stain okay don't forget and uh, about the uh, profile there is a particular profile for the synovial fluid synovial fluid analysis we call it so always send that otherwise next time the senior will ask you for the reports so take a track of that okay and after aspiration apply the jones bandage okay you will your senior will tell you about that and the second thing you will be asked to do uh, to provide the injection in case of a tennis elbow in case of a minor procedure like uh, 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 trigger thumb trigger finger that procedure you can do in the dressing room as well and that will be taught to you uh, and then the first thing is uh, uh, initially uh, that should be done in, in under guidance okay don't try to do on your own always do them under the guidance of your senior now the next thing next thing comes is the slab application and the cast application initial days don't apply the cast okay initial days maybe slab slab is like uh, they won't tell you to apply the slab okay you have to learn how to apply the slab how to do the proper padding how to check for the uh, like if you haven't applied the tight my bandages over that slab because that will hamper the vascularity so take care of that okay and uh, now the my work here is to make your task easy while applying the slab so take help the help of uh, the patient's relative okay in uh, like uh, opening up that power packets of the plaster and then making it ready take help of those we used to take help of them and take help of your interns they will help you and teach them also simultaneously why are you doing this if you don't know just read about it okay the macrae orthopedics that's a very handbook and that uh, whatever the different type of plaster is, and that is given in that book also okay you can take help of that also now regarding the cast application why they won't give you the cast application and why you shouldn't be hurry to do that because what happens in that in the cast application if you apply it too tight what what happens is the outflow and the inflow of the vascular structure that will be hampered and there will be swelling edema and there will be if you have applied too much it may lead to the blisters the compartment syndrome and these things happens okay these things and you don't want that one case in your residency to happen in your hand so please please uh, take care of that okay so don't be hurry to apply a cast learn it see it learn it read it then apply it and if you don't know take a help of your senior he will just abuse you other uh, he won't do anything okay he will be, he is your friend just take uh, just consider that he is your friend okay so that's all about the opd part now but in simultaneously in our case uh, while opd uh, in the period of opd uh, we used to handle the cases of the ward as well we used to uh, keep a track of whatever the uh, uh, advices the our senior gave us uh, uh, are they have, are they fulfilled or not Uh, so what we used to do we used to send interns we take help of interns okay and send them to the ward and they uh, they make a, a list of whatever the pending investigation and they used to help us in completing those and uh, even the sisters helps us in completing those so and uh, whatever the references don't forget about the references part okay don't forget about the pre anesthetic check up part you have to take care of that also so you have to call to into the wards to the sister as well as to your intern please go and check okay, is the psc done is the um, that medicine reference has been done or not uh, and the tbcd reference has been done or not if it is done what is the advice is because during the opd your senior will be asking you what happened to the advice please tell me otherwise in the afternoon break period of that opd 
even when you go to the ward and you do the ward work at that time if you see there is stump cell pending and the patient operation will be delayed then you will be scolded okay so to avoid that do all these things simultaneously i know it's a big task will be running here and there every there how will you keep a track of that you will make a habit okay slowly you will develop a habit of doing all these things together so multitasking that's your just like a, a multiverse thing you are working in this universe as well you are working in the world universe as well you are working with the seniors as well you are working everywhere so you will be like that okay so so that's all about the opd part and please do share subscribe and follow okay